standing here in Copenhagen, in Denmark. We're in another country, two countries, two days. And I am in town square here, or whatever they call this right here, looking for things to do, looking for educational things to, to fill you guys in on. Uh, Aaron, I know, is looking for more tchotchkes, bells, and whistles, and whatever else he goes, goes around looking for here. Uh, it was an entertaining train ride. Aaron and I actually forgot we were in another country. We started paying with Swedish money, and they didn't know what we were doing. So uh, they're very close. Malmo is like 20 minutes on train to Copenhagen. Copenhagen's the kind of thing you see on TV all the time with the Danish women. So we're looking for, I'm looking for some Danish women now. Uh, so I can give you guys some, some interesting stuff to do. Uh, I think I may join a protest here or there. Uh, let's see what there is to do here in Copenhagen, Denmark. We are all locked out from. Uh... You're being. You're, oh, you're on strike. Yeah. No. 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 We are being locked out. The We're teachers not... have been locked out. Yes. Why? Because they uh, can't agree with the teachers whether how our work condition should be. Really? That's right. terrible. Yeah, My dad yes. was a teacher for 35 years. Yeah. So right. you guys are striking, basically. No. Nope. Oh, you just can't get in. We can't. Yeah, get we in. can't get in. Allowed. Right. So now, what's the potato? What's the significance right. of throwing the potato? This one says. Talk, can you talk, we talk to the camera? Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, I need a word, just a minute. Kommune? Council. Council? Yeah, we are hired by the council, yeah? What do you call that? In, uh, where are you the from? The teachers union. Teachers union? Yeah. Union? No, yeah. This one is for the teachers to win. Teachers union. Okay? That's a small hole. Yeah. But you have, and you have to stand behind That's that. a very small hole, though. Yeah. And if I get it in, what happens? You guys win? Yeah. All right. And what's the, what's the big one? Right, that's the council who we are, what do you call it? What, council? <laughs> so this is the one I want to get it in, is what you're saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so, and it, so this is really good luck if I get this in, in other yeah. words. And if they agree, we can agree, the middle one. He's a, we have very little I don't even know if this potato will fit through the hole. <laughs> Probably not. Hey, All right, on, I'm, this is for the teachers, Aaron. Yeah. Only in Copenhagen. <laughs> Which means there's a very slim chance of them getting back into that school. Oh, it was very, very nice meeting you. Good luck. Too, Good luck. All right. I couldn't save the teachers today. Sorry. There you go. There you go. I'm thirsty. You know, we're in Denmark and I did get my Denmark bell. I thought that a, a bell this powerful would call Darielle. She's not anywhere to be found. I'm very thirsty. I'm hungry. Standing here with Robert Wadlow, a small man, if I may say so myself, hard to. This is a true life-size replica of the world's tallest man. Isn't that right? Uh, I have big hands. You should take a look. My hand is not even half his hand. I'm only half the man he is. And you know, I wonder how Aaron Singerman would, would, would stand up next to him. You notice his cane is up to my nipple line here. That's pretty big cane. And his feet, you guys think I have big feet? You think I have big feet? This guy's feet are almost double the size of mine. And these are real representations. Pretty incredible. Aaron, I think he's about to stand up. Let's see if you could uh, stand up next to this guy. Here he goes. Go, Dan. All right, Aaron is, 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 is measuring up. Will he measure up to the world's tallest man? Oh, my God, Aaron. You're like a midget compared to this guy. You're, you're seriously half the man of Mr. Wadlow. That's all my. There's my. You're six foot. That's six foot here. You're a little older. You're bigger. You're like six two. He is eight over eight feet tall. Wow. All right, it's gonna be Aaron and I. In, look at the camera, Aaron. Oh, I can't pull my thing out. Okay, I, I'm good. It's okay. Be Aaron and I in whack a mole. Let's see who can whack as many moles as possible. You you had a little Ready? practice at first, so. I did one thing. Ready? Go.
What do I got? What do I have? What do I have? I have four. What do you have? No, you have like 280, don't you? No, I have 580. Oh, you 580. Yeah. See, that's for bragging to first. All right, guys, we're still breathing heavy from whack-a-mole. But this coin is all made of jade. And in Chinese, jade is, a, is very good luck. And you want to rub it. So I'm going to rub the jade. I'm going to get all my body over this thing. I got good luck. I got to get my shoulders against it. I want a lot of good luck. My quad. Rubbing it against it. I think we have a lot of good luck coming up. Let's go on to the next thing. The fuck is Dave doing? What is he doing? I was uh, trying to uh, have these tongue exercises. They, they say one in a million can't do this. I'm trying to bend my tongue. I, I don't even know what we would be. You saw me from the other side? Yeah, they have a mirror on the other side. Ah, so I can see the mirror. Very, this is a very interesting museum. I, I'm very. My dad always had a manual typewriter. This, this, this like, it looks like a Terminator mask with me and typewriter parts. So I, I might try to take my dad's typewriter or almost be young uh, have, him, have him come home and just be surprised by that. Can you imagine if he saw this thing? Oh, that's pretty cool. Dave, I think my typewriter is broken. <laughs> Here, I'm not supposed to stay up there. Eric, set the alarm on. All right, let's try to get in without me standing on there. All right, ready? All right, we're standing in front of something that I think is pretty impressive. The Taj Mahal, which unfortunately uh, Dave and I never got to visit in, in India. I did want to go, but Dave got hurt and uh, we never got to see the Taj Mahal. But this Taj Mahal is made out of strictly matchsticks. Now I can't imagine how long or, or what reason somebody would have to do that, but I would imagine many, many, many years went into making this thing out of plain matchsticks. 300,000 matchsticks to be exactly, Aaron. 300,000 matchsticks. It looks like more than that. I'm here in Denmark and I ran into Brian Hildebrand, our, our ex strength editor in chief. And I, I see on the wall it says, find out what the Scotchman's wearing under his kilt. I know a lot of you probably wondering if these guys wear underwear, so I'm going to move this aside here. And, oh, it says lift this leaf here. Oh, 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 I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> you stink, Brian. I wipe my brow and I swear